30 days ago, I gave myself a challenge to see how much money we could make flipping RC cars on websites like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and OfferUp. Today, we're gonna go over all the results of this challenge. We're gonna go over all of the trades that we've made, the things that we've made money on, unfortunately, the things that we've lost money on, and what we can do in the future to make a little bit more money with challenges like this. We'll start with the first car we made, the Team Associated RC10 GT. Unfortunately, we lost a little bit of money on this car due to the fact that I was under the impression when I ordered the car that it was gonna come with a body. That body ended up costing us like $35, which ate out all of the profits we were gonna make on that car. I had like $185 tied up in that car in total, and we only got $175 for it. So we lost $10 on that one, but fortunately, we made money on the next one. Now, when I placed this $600 order on eBay, I didn't really know what I was getting. This guy gave me a ton of cars, motors, transmitters, most of it was absolute junk, but fortunately, because this guy gave me so many cars and also a lot of motors, I never actually had to pay for any of those motors that we got. So I was able to list one of those motors on eBay and sold it for $50, which in this case was complete profit. The next car, I didn't do anything to it and I probably should have because we probably could have made a little bit more money on it. We had $120 into this Traxxas Fortec and we ended up selling it for $127.50 on eBay. $7.50 is probably not worth the effort of shipping the thing, but we made $7.50. So that brought the total up to $57.50 for the total money made so far. The next car we sold was this HPI RS4. Now, I think this car is probably the coolest looking car out of all of the ones we did. We sold it for $200.50. We had $185 total tied up in this car. So that gave us a profit of $15.50. Not a lot, but we're starting to finally gain a little bit of traction. That brought us up to $73 even for our total profit so far, but we got the biggest trade yet coming up. It's this guy right here, this Easy Start Traxxas Slash. This thing is an absolute beast. The auction ends in about an hour or so, so we're gonna see how much money we made on this one really soon. We had $158 tied up in this Traxxas Slash Easy Start truck, and it ended up selling for $202. And 50 cents. That was a profit of $44.50. This brings our total profitability up to $117 in total, but unfortunately, because we lost $10 on the very first car, that brings us down to just $107 for profit. I honestly think making this much money in 30 days, trying a brand new side hustle that we've never done before, actually pretty impressive. There's a lot of things that we can do to improve are how much profitability you were able to scrape out of each car in the future. Because every single car that I've sold, I've put a brand new Spectrum two or three channel receiver in it, depending on the sales that were going on at the time. That adds 30 to, 30 to $40 on every single car that we purchased. And if we didn't put receivers in them, I'm not sure if they would sell for the same amount of money. I'm not sure how many people are actually using Spectrum transmitters out there that are buying these cars because they're basically ready to go. They buy their transmitter and go run with these cars. So potentially on the future auctions that we're gonna do, because we still have a ton of cars that are in the process of being built up for this series, I think that we're gonna try selling some of them without any receivers in them, just adding servos and maybe a battery into the car because we also just got a new battery sponsor that's gonna be sponsoring the batteries that we put into every single one of these cars for the rest of the series. More on that in the video after this or maybe the one after that, but it's kind of like our first like longer relationship sponsor. So I'm really looking forward to building those batteries into all of these cars because I think it's gonna provide a lot of really good value for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this series. Are you guys enjoying it? I'd really like to know what you think. If you guys have cars that you guys are selling on eBay, OfferUp, any of those websites, put links to them in the description. DM me them on tip TikTok if the links are getting taken off of YouTube. Uh, I'd love to maybe purchase one of your cars and feature it on this channel in this series. I know that this is a short video, but I just wanted to catch you guys up on how much money we've made so far because we're in the green and that's pretty cool. That's it though for this video. If you guys want to follow the rest of the series, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I post one of these videos. We have videos that come out every Friday at 9 a.m. We've been doing it for a while and we've been really successful with it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya, peace. Oh, and this is the next car that we're doing in the series, a Kyosho Inferno Neo. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this one.